Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js. Now in this video, we will design the footer. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in my source code and let's go to the footer component. So here we have this folder called footer and that we have this file called footer.jsx. So first of all, let's change the div to a footer. For the footer, we have a background color of black. So let's also add a class name of black over here. So if you go back to the index.css file, here we can see we have already created this class and for that we have a background color of black. All right, let's go back to the footer. Now even for the footer, we need to have a fixed width. So for that, let's create a division and let's give it a class name of wrapper. And that for the content, let's create a division with the class of content container now here we can see we have three sections and for each of these let's create divisions with a class of links so let's go back and uh, let's create a division and let's give it a class name of links now in this the first thing we need to have is this logo so let's create an anchor tag because for the logo we need to also have a link so let's type hash for now and we'll also give it a class name of logo and here let's type sound design now if you open the navbar component here we can see we already have created this uh, html for the logo so i'll just copy this from here and let's go back to the footer and i'll just paste it over here so now if you go back to our browser here we can see that the styles are already added so let's go back and the next thing we need to have are these three icons so for that, let's go ahead and create a container division. Let's create a division with a class name of social icons. Now for each of the social icons, we need to have anchor tags. So let's create an anchor tag. And here you can add the link of the social media account. And here we need to add the images. So let's import the images over here inside our footer.jsx file. So if you go to the assets folder, here we can see we have these images which have the names of Instagram logo, Facebook logo, and uh, Twitter logo. So let's import all of that over here. I'll just type import, Instagram logo, Twitter logo, and uh, Facebook logo from assets. So the first thing we need to have is the Facebook logo. So here I'll just type IMG. And in the SRC, let's type Facebook logo. And I'll just copy this anchor tag and paste it two more times. And the second one is the Twitter logo. So let's start Twitter logo. And then we have Instagram logo. Right now, let's go outside this division. And the next thing we need to have is uh, this copyright info. So I'll just copy this text from here. And uh, I'll just create a division. And let's give it a class name of copyright. And here I'll just paste the text. I'll just change this to 2023. All right, that's it with the first set of links. Now let's create another division and let's give it a class name of links. And uh, here we need to have these elements. So first of all, we need to have a heading. So I'll just create an S3. And here I'll just type quick links. And then for each of these links, I'll just create a UL. And that will have list items and in that we'll have anchor tags. And here we need to type blog and let's copy this list item and let's paste it down here. And here we need to type privacy policy. Right now we need to have another links division. So let's go outside this division and let's create another division. Let's give it a class name of links. And let's go back to the Figma file. And here we have the contact information. So let's create an S3. Let's type contact us and uh, we'll create unordered list list items and for the first one let's type anchor tag and here list copy and paste this email id and then let's create one more list item and anchor tag and i'll just copy and paste this phone number and paste it over here and with that we have completed writing the code for the footer.jsx file now let's add the styles 
so first of all let's go to our browser and uh, let's see how it looks so this is how it looks right now so we have already imported the footer.css file so let's open that file and let's start styling this first of all let's style the content container so let's type footer content container let's add some padding so if you go back to the figma file and if you select this uh, heading and uh, if you take a look at this padding here we can see we have a padding of 50 pixels from the top so let's go back and let's start padding 50 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right All right now let's style these social media icons so for that we have a division with a class name of social icons so here i'll just type footer social icons and let's go back to the figma file and let's see what is the gap between these elements so here we can see we have a gap of 16 pixels so let's go back and i'll just set the display to flex and let's give it a gap of 16 pixels let's go back to our browser and this is how it looks let's also give it some margin so i'll just tap margin and let's set it to 24 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right and this is how it looks right now let's style the copyright text so let's go back and uh, let's go to the figma file and let's select this and uh, let's get the styles so here i'll just copy all these styles from here and i'll just paste it for the copyright division so here we have this uh, division with a class of copyright so i'll just have footer copyright and let's paste the styles over here and i'll just add serif over here now for all the text inside our footer we need to set the color to white so here i'll just type footer a and i'll just set the color to white and even for the copyright let's set the color to white and now let's add a text color to all the headings so let's select one of these headings from here and here we can see for the heading we have a pink color so let's do that let's select all the headings i'll just type footer s3 and let's type color and i'll just set it to the pink variable that we created so just a var pink color and now we can see we have the color for the headings now let's select the headings and let's also add the other styles so here we have these styles i'll just copy these styles from here and let's paste them into the heading and i'll just type serif so here we have the headings now here we can see all these elements are one below the other so let's select the content container inside the footer and here we have already selected it so let's set the display to flex and we'll also set the justify content to space between so that all of them are positioned correctly so if you go back to our browser here we can see this is how it looks and here we can see for the headings we also have some margin so let's remove the margin so let's go back to the heading and here let's type margin zero and now we can see it looks all right now for all these anchor tags we'll also add a hover effect so when we hover over these anchor tags we will add underlines here let's type footer a colon hover and when we hover over this let's set a text decoration to underline and now we can see when you hover over this we have the underline right now let's style the ul so here we can see we have created this ul for each of these links so let's target that i'll just have footer links ul and first of all let's remove the bullets so i'll just have list style to none and let's also remove the default padding and we'll also remove the default margin so i'll just have margin zero right now let's style these list items so let's go back to the figma file and let's select this and here are the styles so i'll just copy these styles from here and i'll just paste it over here for the list items i'll just type footer links ulli and let's paste the styles over here now we also need to have some gap between these list items and we also need to add some margin to the left so here we can see we have some margin to the left so let's do all of that here let's type margin and we'll just set it to 8 pixels from the top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right so now we can see it looks all right and that's it with the footer so with that we have completed designing the desktop version so here we have the header we have the topic section 
the info section, the blog section, the testimonial section and the footer. So everything is completed. In the next video, we will start making this responsive. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.